Kursk's next-generation main battle tank unveiled. General Dynamics Land Systems has officially unveiled its Abramsk's future main battle tank concept in the flesh, or should we say in the steel. Earlier this week we wrote up the latest on this feature-packed M1 Abrams evolution, but now we get to see the actual hardware ahead of the Association of the U.S. Army's big conference in Washington, D.C. This week, you can get up to speed on what we know about the tank. In a video released Saturday, the defense contractor showed off the so-called Abramsk's technology demonstrator trundling along at a testing facility, spotlighting the tank concept's transformational technology. Ahead of the system's full unveiling at the Association of the U.S. Army's annual meeting in Washington, D.C. next week, suffice it to say, the Abramsk's very much looks the part of a future tank, with its highly revised turret that features multiple electro-optical sights and a remote weapon station sporting a big 30mm chain gun, the sniper grey-like urban camouflage with countershading along its serrated skirt also gives it a very futuristic look as does its XM360 derivative 120mm cannon with its ported muzzle brake, but the heavily armored tank's hybrid powertrain buried deep inside it is probably its most exciting feature. General Dynamics says this will result in a whopping 50% fuel saving the Abrams kerosene guzzling turbine engine has long involved a major logistics versus performance trade-off. This hybrid system will also allow Abrams to operate silently while sitting idle and possibly for short durations at low speed, which would provide a huge tactical advantage. According to GDLS, the Abrams will function as a keynote in lethal battlefield networks and serve as a bridge between the currently fielded Abrams SEPV-3 and the recently unveiled SEPV-4 iteration to some sort of future tank, whatever that might look like.